Following the Appalachian High School shootings in Georgia, feelings of worry and concern are sparking a discussion for safety changes here at home. WSAZ's Marley Pinchock introduces us to one student at Sims Valley High School who took it upon herself to present a safety measure to her school board that has proven to help in previous tragedies. <laughs> The sound of the school bell means classes are carrying on like normal. But recent school shootings across the country open up feelings of worry that linger for students like Marley Higgins, a freshman at Sims Valley High School. Those kids probably didn't expect to walk into school that morning and that to happen to them. And I kept thinking, what if that was my school? And what if I had my little brother in school? And what could I, what could I do to make his school experience more safe? I have a three-year-old little sister. She hasn't even started school yet. But I kept trying to think of ways that I could help. The first step, opening up about those concerns to her parents. Kind of hurt your heart a little bit that in the first place, you know, she's thinking of those kinds of things, that that's a worry. But at the same time, you're extremely proud of her because she is thinking so far ahead. Support from her family, turning the page for work to begin. Higgins spending a couple hours each day after school for over a week, gathering research on these panic buttons used at Appalachian High School. Safety devices equipped with the ability to help in situations where every second counts. I have the staff alert. What it does is it alerts all staff members that a teacher needs help. I have the canvas wide alert slash lockdown. This is a 911 contact. It will also pinpoint your exact location. The safety devices are attached to a teacher's ID badge or lanyard. When clicked, they can alert law enforcement and school authorities, even helping to pinpoint the exact location of an active emergency. And then I have types of grants that are able to be applied for. Research followed up by potential grant ideas that could be used to cover the cost. Dedication taking Higgins to her final step in this journey, building up the courage to present her findings to the Sims Valley Board of Education. They're great people. They really care about the school and they really heard me out when I was talking to them. I handed them my packets. I had a little set of cue cards I read off to them. Adam Korn, vice president of the board, says school officials were already tossing around ideas of potential new safety measures. And when he learned Higgins had already been on the same track, he says he was so proud of the example she set. Marla could have handled this so many different ways, but she went about it the right way. She done her work. She came down, presented it to us. We were able to have good conversation. And I think from that, we'll see a lot of positive outcomes. Now, school officials are in discussion about how to move forward. Whatever ends up happening, Higgins says she just hopes her proactive approach helps keep the discussion of safety at the forefront. I just hope that maybe me talking about it brings some attention and like shed some light on it. While we are a small school, it could happen to anybody. In Lawrence County, Ohio, Marley Pinchuk, WSAZ. As for the next step, school officials have been in discussion about potential options. Their next school board meeting is October the 21st.